So it is now time for Outside, and I'm speaking to former Mrs. Brown's Boys star and actor Gary Hollywood, who played Dino Doyle, the hairdresser and boyfriend of Rory Brown. Now, with Mrs. Brown's Boys, Gary helped win five BAFTAs and five National Television Awards, three TV Choice Awards, four IFTA Awards and three TV Times Awards. Wow. Now, with a career lasting over four decades, he doesn't look old enough, <laughs> Gary made his first appearance on an episode of Taggart. I used to love that. There's been a murder. His big break came at 15, playing Dominic Dunbar in Scottish in the Scottish soap opera, uh, Take the High Road. I used to love that. Take the High Road. <laughs> Since his departure from Mrs. Brown's Boys, Gary founded his own spirits brand called Hollywood Drinks. And I'm pleased to say Gary joins me live in the studio now. Gary! Oh, thank <laughs> you for, so much for having me. Thank you. Oh, welcome. This is where it all happens. Is it now? Take the High Road. I used to love that when I was younger. I used to watch it all the time. <laughs> what was it like in that little village that they were at? What was it like? Oh, it was lovely. Yeah, oh. I started that when I was 14. Oh, wow. And, uh, the, you know, grew up watching that as a child and uh, my mum was so proud because that was her favourite soap at the time. And, uh, and yeah, I would like to think that that's when my training all started. It was mm. tough going. Everyone thinks that soap opera is easy to do, but three episodes a week, 18 hours a day, and uh, that's where the training began. But what did you do for school? Well, we, we juggle school as well, yeah. so we'd have a tutor and you'd have to be doing your, your classwork as well as learning scripts, as well as doing all the wow. camera moves, and then get that off back to school. So, yeah, it was tough going, but, hey, here we are 30 years later. Wow. You know, when I think about Take the High Road, I keep seeing sort of, like stoned walls, walls with stone, you know, made out of stones, yes. like big bricks and stuff. That's what I remember about it. People talking over these walls, like, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> and a little quiet voices. Well, so, God, you were young then. Yeah, so we started acting when I was 12. I was lucky enough uh, through high, uh, primary school uh, into high school. I got picked up. My drama teachers, Terry and Mandy, had put me up for Taggart. I Nobody moved, that. there's been a murder. Did, so you met him, didn't you? Yes, I did. Oh, what was he like? He was lovely, uh, such a genuine guy. And, uh, yeah, I was 12 at the time. I used to love what I used Loved to I used to wait it. for it. Chief Inspector Taggart. Taggart? Can you do that? Can you do Chief Inspector Chief Inspector Taggart. Oh, you cool. <laughs> so, yeah, started that, then into soap, and, uh, and then did uh, a movie, The Winter Guest, with Emma Thompson and the late, uh, lovely Alan Rickman. So you've been around and some big, yeah. big names. Emma Thompson, she's yeah, a Yeah, and... Uh, and, uh, and Alan, God love him, lovely, lovely, lovely man. And then moved in from Panthers with the Crankies. The cr oh my God, Nicola Sturgeon yes. herself. <laughs> we, we Nicky Sturgeon ourselves, yes. And, uh, and of course, my, my claim to fame was falling off the beanstalk with Jeanette. That was, I was, you know, myself and her involved in the well, collision. Were you meant to fall off the uh, Well, you know, as people think I was paid to do it, but there we go, it's a different story. Really? But, uh, yeah, and then... What through... was that about? Tell, some, tell us about that. Well, yeah, we were just, it was just a, a matinee show and uh, the mechanicals that we were on just folded and don't really remember much about it and <laughs> uh, I was concussed. And uh, for Jeanette, God love her, she was badly damaged oh in, my God, in the accident. Really? And oh my God, uh, I've finished. never done panto since, needless to say, but, uh, yeah, so that... That was at the Panto days, and then, of course, through Panto, I met Brendan O'Carroll, which then led me on to, to Mrs Brown's Boys. No, I'll tell you, I'll give you a confession about that. Show. Yes. I can't bear it. <laughs> at Christmas, I'm like, oh, not this again. Well, at least you're honest. Bear it. At least but, like, you're honest. I somehow end up watching it. It's so annoying. Well, I'm like, oh, not this again. <laughs> not this again. But we always did say that it's Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. Mm. And, uh, yeah, needless to say, I had 20 years with, with uh, Mrs years. Brown's Boys. Wow. And of course, with that, with touring up and down the country and, and uh, over to Australia, New Zealand, and and all over the world, I'm very thankful. Did you? So you yeah, yeah, with it, Mrs. it was Brown's huge boys. all over, really? and uh, very thankful to it. How did you get that gig? Uh, I met uh, himself doing panto at the Pavilion in Glasgow. He said, "What are you doing?" I had just left the soap opera. He said, "What are you doing after this?" And I said, "I'm heading down to London. Uh, I've got the bill." Remember the bill? Oh, the bill. The Do you know bill when I used to watch up? the feet? Do you ever watch the feet? Yeah, that's it. Can, never, could you get it right? They were exactly in sync. And I was like... Is it, are these mechanical feet, or is it, are they mechanical feet, right or are they actual feet? Are, are they, they actual feet? feet? Are they actual yeah. mechanical feet? Or yeah. Feet? I haven't a clue. Well, that's I what I thought. That. They were so in time. No, they're definitely no. They were real feet, were they? they were, I don't know. It's they just were they were so in time <laughs> that I was like, these have got to be mechanical feet. They, they have to be, be like real feet. But I was doing. Well, I was off to to the bill, possibly with six months' work or whatever. And uh, Brendan has said he had written a show and there's a year's work. And my children were young at the time, so I thought, oh, a year's work. Let's go for it. And uh, twenty years later, 
Uh, and we had our ups and downs, and uh, and needless to say, we moved on from that. And does that, uh, mean, does that mean you did, you didn't get on in the end? You you sort of parted ways. In, yeah, we we in did, a bad way. We didn't what part happened? ways <laughs> in the best. <laughs> what happened? <Go laughs> it's all down. over the press. Oh, I don't just know. Google it. No, no, tell it. But uh, uh, yeah, so there, there was know. disagreements, and About what? Um, yeah, there was disagreements, and uh, I made the decision that I was just going to go. But you did. But you've done well out of it. It's been twenty years. Honestly. It was twenty years and uh, ups and downs, and with great memories. And that's what I'm going to take with. And uh, as I said, uh, yeah, we, we, things change and, and we move on. And out of that then came me setting up my own. Uh, Gin company. Why did you go for gin? I, I never used to like gin. I can remember one time I drank gin <laughs> and I ended up crying on the steps at a party. And people said, no, no, why are you crying? I had no idea. Now listen, I need, I, to, no get idea. You, I, I I need to get you some of mine. It won't make you cry, sure. I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, so I started the, the gin. Not that I'm a raving alcoholic, but, yes, I, I do enjoy a gin or two. <laughs> and with everything happening in this country at the moment... Oh, my God, we all need a gin. <laughs> you don't need gin to make you cry. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I started the, the gin which has led on to a rum and uh, we're working on hopefully to launch in Christmas time our own vodka oh really uh, through, why through... why did you go for that it was what? just you know something Nana, it was it was on my bucket list mm. and my wife said why not do it you know and so I got in touch with people that know people and mm. and uh, yeah not not who you know what you know as my mother would say and uh, yeah we set up so we've been have the, the gin's been running uh, for two years and, yeah. and uh, with the rum and now we're working on the vodka so yeah it was just a bucket list tick the boxes and then uh, get that up and running and something to leave for the children it's very good, isn't it? <laughs> make them rage and I'll go my mom my mother says it's not who you know it's who knows you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She's right, you know. <laughs> so you've got this business now. You've yes. got this gin. Is it, is it successful? Is it doing yeah, well? Yeah, it's it? doing well at the moment. It's just all online sales. Uh, and I've changed distillery. We're based in, in Leicester. And now I'm moving up to Scotland just because I've moved back to Scotland. I'd spent eight years in Scotland's Lanzarote. Scotland's lovely. Is it gorgeous? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's and and uh, mum and dad are getting on, so I wanted to move back to Scotland. And... Uh, and so we're move, moving everything from Leicester with the gin and the distillery to, to Glasgow so that I can be more hands-on with it and, uh, and take it from there. But, yeah, at the moment it's all going well. A uh, couple of projects, hopefully I'll come back and we'll be able to talk about book? them. Are you writing a book? Well, listen, I'm looking for... That's it. Come, I'm looking for, for the book. Yeah, why not? You should write a book. I Thank think you. you. You sound kind of interesting. Oh, it would be very it interesting. Does, it does. <laughs> it to find out what with Mrs Brown's boys. No, I can't watch that. I simply can't watch it. Because I, it was an ex whose house I went to. Oh, I we're see. We're obviously not together now. It didn't go well. Never does. And was and that the cause of the breakup? Was well, watching it was watching I couldn't bear it. I, I, it's after going to their house for one Christmas, it was just on, literally on repeat. I couldn't take it anymore. Ah! Uh, literally. But no, it's, it's really good to talk to you and find oh, out what listen, you... Oh, listen, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm desperate to see you and, yeah. and to be here, so thank you for having me. And just very briefly, how was lockdown for you? Were you working during it or what did you uh, do? No, you I wasn't before? working. Oh, that's another story and a half. My, my son was, was born uh, prematurely. We were living really? at Lanzarote at the time. I was then trapped. Well, trapped. But in a good way, at mum and dad's house with a premature baby. How, how early was he? Uh, yeah, he was uh, just over a month. Oh, really? And uh, you'll be sorry you asked this. And then I Is lost it? my brother. Oh, no. Non-COVID related. And then I left Mrs Brown's boys. Mm. And all this all coming at the one time. So, yeah, I was glad to see the back of... Uh, the lockdown. Yeah, yeah. So, so your, your gin company, what's it called then, just in case I want to get some of it myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny enough, I, 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 tongue in cheek, it was Hollywood Ginge. I had to do the, Hollywood get the ginge, hair in, uh, Hollywood right, Ginge, yeah, yeah. Uh, with, uh, with Hollywood uh, spirits and Hollywood drinks online. So, yeah, and next time I see you, I shall bring some. I can't believe you didn't and bring we, anything. We won't make you cry, I assure you. Get out. You don't I'll bring, bring the rum as well and the vodka. Oh, I don't want we'll have rum. a party. We'll have a party. We'll have Don as well. She loves it. We, need to have, we, need, we all need to celebrate in our houses because, frankly, there's, you know, there's a politics in this country at the moment. I oh, don't. Let's not depress ourselves, Gary. No, it's, it's, no. Well, well, listen, it's been such a pleasure meeting you and thank you so thank much you. for coming in. Bless you and, and all the best. appreciate you made the way all the way to the studio as well. Not so, at all. So really thank good. you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, that is Gary Hollywood. He's a former star of Mrs Brown's Boys and now he's gone into gin making and all sorts of things. It's <laughs> quite exciting stuff. Good for him.